Hello everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. Today we are discussing Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Directed by Helena Rain and starring Amanda Stenberg, Rachel Seno, Maria Bakalova and Pete Davidson. A group of friends get together for a party and a long-awaited catch-up until someone suggests playing an unusual game called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies and the game starts to get just a little too real. But before we go any further, could you please be a dear? Hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I really can't tell you how much difference it makes to the channel and what a smile it puts on my face. So we really do thank you if you do. Let's get into what I liked about Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. The cinematography is great. I mean, yeah, of course it is. It's the A24 standard. It's a beautifully shot film from start to finish. I thought the director showed a really good understanding of tone. When they're trying to be upbeat, it's bright, loud and colourful. And when they're trying to be tense, it's dark, it's quiet, it's isolated. You can see the thought put behind it and it is very well crafted. I also quite enjoyed the sound design here. They choose some rap songs that I understand why they chose those rap songs. They're not good songs, but I get why they chose them. But if we're ignoring the soundtrack and looking more at those creaking floorboards, those deep panicked breaths, that's where I thought the movie really shined. And it is hard to separate a character from an actor's performance, but it is necessary here because the performances are all really strong and very well recognized. Even Pete Davidson, I mean, he's playing himself really, but he is a good fit for the character so it works. And when it really does start to get into the meat and gravy of the film and they start playing the game Bodies, 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 that's when the movie really starts to pick up and offer the audience something to be invested in. And that really does sort of tie into my first biggest con of the film. That first 20 minutes is a miserable slog to sit through. You're just being introduced to these characters and all of them are horrible. You cannot attach to any of them. You cannot relate to any of them. It is genuinely suffering to spend time with these people and be around them. But you, you lucky thing, you're the VIP to the party. Yay. I get why these characters are unlikable, but it goes to such an extent that it becomes hard work and miserable to be with them. It bleeds through the screen and actually impacts the emotions that the audience are feeling. I started getting a headache. Not kidding. I genuinely closed my eyes and rubbed my head on several occasions in this movie. The characters would start bitching and fighting and talking over each other and I just had to go, oh my God, I am getting the most acute headache from this movie. I can honestly say, I think these are the least likable characters in any movie that I have seen in 2022. Arguably 2021, but I'd have to look through the list. But I feel that confident that these are the worst. I actually feel like I owe an apology to other movies this year where I've said that I didn't like the characters. No, you're, you are godsends compared to this bunch. It's also really predictable and it's basically just a generic whodunit done nowhere near as well or interesting as the film itself thinks it is. I don't like the characters, so therefore I don't really care who did it. Just somebody do it, because if you don't, I'll kill them all. That's how miserable this is. I sincerely try to not go to the bathroom in a movie. I want to be there. I want to see everything. I don't want to miss that magic moment. And yet in this movie, I had no hesitation to go to the bathroom. In fact, I took my time. They started bitching again, and when they started going, oh my God, Alex, you're so fucking toxic-like, I just knew, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna go now. But what's most annoying is that by the time I came back from the toilet, they were still bitching and arguing. The only piece I could take from the matter was that I missed the bulk of it. And the biggest disappointment that I have with this movie is that for an A24 property, a company that I rate really highly and can't give enough praise to, I love how much they kick down the doors and just do whatever. There seems to be nothing off the table with these guys. I think that's important in cinema. I don't always want the formula. I don't always want safe. I want to be provoked. I want to be prodded. I want to be made to think. And that's what I love about A24. They get this old thing knocking about like an old engine. But sadly, that's not the case with bodies, bodies, bodies. There really is absolutely nothing to think about here. It's basically Scream meets Ready or Not, just with out anything interesting to say about it. We're just here laughing at Gen Z and saying, aren't they awful? But yeah, we, we already knew that, so what's the point, really? And even then, it's not even a Gen Z thing. Like, think about it. What were you like when you were 18? Admit it. 
you were a bit of a dickhead. I know I was. It's not really a Gen Z thing, it's a teenage thing. Teenagers are awful. This is known. It is known. It is known. I don't really get what we're trying to say or achieve, except for just saying teenagers are dumb. Well done for finally realising. I'm gonna give bodies, bodies, bodies a three out of 10. I just have to be honest and say I hated this experience. This might sound dramatic, but when the film ended, if the doors were suddenly locked shut and the film started playing again, I genuinely would have classed it as torture. I just have zero patience for high school bullshit. It's not interesting, there's zero depth to it. <sighs> we got it off our chest, we're good, we're fighting fit. Okay, I think I've calmed down now. <laughs> Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please hit the comment section as well. Have you seen Bodies, Bodies, Bodies? What did you think about it? Have I got it completely wrong? And am I missing the point? Or do you agree with me? Was this pretty damn tough to get through? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you on the next review.